the measures of variation, skewness, and courtesies. The three measures of the center discussed in separate video do not by themselves give an adequate description of data. Let us consider this measurement. Sample A and sample B. The data set of sample A got a mean of 1.02 and the data of sample B also has a mean of 1.02. Both samples have the same mean, 1.02. It is quite obvious that sample A is more uniform than sample B. The variability or the dispersion of the observations from the average is less in sample A than for sample B. Therefore, we feel more confident when we select sample A that is closer to the average. The most important statistics for measuring variability of a set of data are the range and the variance. The simplest to compute is the range. Measures of variation A measure of variation is a single value that is used to describe the spread of the distribution. In which a measure of central tendency alone does not uniquely describe a distribution. Let us take a look at this dispersion. Data A, data B, and data C. Getting the mean of each of the data, the mean is equal to 15.5. But when we calculate the standard deviation of each of the data, it has different standard deviation, which means the variability of the sets of data is not the same. In data A, the standard deviation is 3.33. In data B, it is 0 0.9258. And in data C, 4.57. Interpreting this data, data C is more dispersed than A and B. A is more dispersed than B. B got the smallest standard division. C got the highest standard division. Types of measures of dispersion. Absolute measures of dispersion and the relative measures of dispersion. The absolute measures of dispersion, we have the range, interquartile range, variance, and standard deviation. While the relative measure of dispersion is the coefficient of variation. The range is the difference between the maximum and the minimum value in a data set. That is, R equals maximum minus minimum. Example, false rates of 15 male residents of a certain village. This is the data. The lowest is 54 and the highest is 85. To get the range, merely get the difference between the highest score that is 85 and the lowest score that is 54. And it is equal to 30. One. Some properties of the range. The larger the value of the range, the more dispersed the observation are. It is quick and easy to understand, and it is a rough measure of dispersion. Interquartile range is the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile. So IQR is equal to quartile 3 minus quartile 1. Example. False rates of 15 residents of a certain village. The first quartile is 60 and the third quartile is 78. So 78 minus 60 is equal to 18. By the way, when you speak of quartile, the distribution is divided into four equal parts. Some properties of the interquartile range. It reduces the influence of extreme values and it is not AC to calculate as the range because we still need 
To find out or to calculate third quartile and the first quartile. The variance. Variance is the important measures of variation. It's used variation about the mean. So population variance, the equation is sigma squared is equal to the summation of xi minus mu quantity squared divided by n. Well, sample variance, x squared is equal to the summation of xi minus x bar quantity squared divided by n minus 1. While the standard deviation is the most important measures of variation, it is the square root of the variance and has the same units as the original data. So this is just simple to calculate. After getting the variance, we just get the square root and we already have the standard deviation. For the population standard deviation, sigma, this is the symbol used, sigma is equal to the square root of summation of xi minus mu quantity squared divided by n. While sample standard deviation, s, is equal to the square root of the summation of xi minus x bar quantity squared divided by n minus 1. This is the sample data set. So the data is from a sample. The number of cases is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Adding all the data and divided by 8, the mean is 16. To get the standard division, simply get the square root of 10 minus 16 quantity squared plus 12 minus 16 quantity squared plus 14 minus 16 quantity squared until we reach to 24 minus 16 quantity squared. The total will be divided by n minus 1 that is 8 minus 1 is equal to 7 and get the square root of the result and it is already the standard division which is equal to 4.309 remarks on standard division if there is a large amount of variation then on average the data values will be far from the mean hence the standard division will be large if there is only a small amount of variation then on average the data values will be close to the mean hence the sd will be small let's take a look on the comparison of the standard division we can only compare when the units of measures are the same and the means are not too different from each other so data a data b and data c has an equal mean of 15.5 but looking at the standard division, it is different. In data A, the standard division is equal to 3.338. So the score is not very close to the mean. While data B, the mean is equal to 15.5, but the standard division is equal to 0 0.9258, and that the score is closer to the mean. The standard division is smaller, so the the data is not far from the mean. While in data C, the mean is equal to 15.5 and the standard deviation is equal to 4.57. So the scores is widely far from the mean. The standard deviation of data C is higher than data B and E. While data A is higher than data B. Comparing standard divisions, example, we have here team A, heights of 5 marathon players in inches. Their heights are equal, so that means it's equal, and the standard division is zero. Meaning, the heights is not different from each other, very close from the mean. In team B, the heights of 5 marathon players in inches is not equal. So there is 62 inches, 67, 66, 70, and 60. Finding the mean is equal to 65 inches, but their heights varies from one another. So it got a standard deviation of 4.0. Properties of standard deviation. 
Tibet is the most widely used measures of dispersion, the Tibet Chib and Equality. It is based on all the items and is rigidly defined. It is used to test the reliability of measures calculated from samples. The standard deviation is sensitive to the presence of extreme values and it is not easy to calculate by hand, unlike the rings. This is the Chibi Chib rule. It permits us to make statements about the percentage of observation that must be within a specified number of standard deviations from the mean. The proportion of any distribution that lies within key standard deviations of the mean is at least 1 minus the quantity of 1 divided by key squared, where key is any positive number larger than 1. This Role applies to any distribution. For any data set with mean mu and the standard division SD, the following statements apply. At least 75% of the observations are within 2 SD of its mean. Second, at least 88.9% of the observations are within 3 SD of its mean. Illustrate at least 75% of the observation are within 2 is D of its mean. The right and the left is equal. Example, the mentor exam scores of 100 stat 1 students last semester has a mean of 65 and a standard division of 8 points. Applying the rule, we can say that at least 75% of the student had scores between 49 and 81. How we got 49 and 81? We just add 16 points to 65 and we have 81 and deduct 16 points from 65 and we have 49. Less 88 9% of the students had scores between 41 and 89. How we reach, how we got 41 and 89? So we just have to add 65 plus 8 times 3 points, we have 89, and deduct 8 times 3 points from 65. So we have 41 and 89. The coefficient of variation. This measures of relative variation. This is used Usually expressed in percent, it's used variation relative to mean. It is used to compare two or more groups, and the formula is coefficient of variation is equal to the standard deviation over the mean times 100. Comparing coefficient of variations in stock A, the average price is 50. The standard deviation is 5. So we have the coefficient of variation 10%. 5 divided by 50 times 100 is equal to 10%. In stock B, the average price is 100. The standard division is 5. The coefficient of variation is 5%. Although, they have the same standard division, but they have different average. So, therefore, they have different coefficient operations. So 5 divided by 100 times 100 is equal to 5%. Measure of scanners. Scanners describes the degree of departures of the distribution of the data from symmetry. The degree of skewness is measured by the coefficient of skewness, denoted by S key and computed as S key is equal to 3 times the mean minus the median divided by the standard deviation. Talking about symmetry, a distribution is said to be symmetric about the mean if the distribution to the left of mean is the mirror image of the distribution to the right of the mean, which means the left is equal to the right, or the right is equal to the left. Likewise, a symmetric distribution has skewness of zero, since its mean is equal to its median and its mood, as illustrated here. When skewness is greater than zero, it is positively skewed, while if it is lesser than zero, then it is negatively skewed. Measure of pertussis. This describes the extensiveness or flatness of the distribution of the data. This is measured by coefficient of pertussis key computed as 
K is equal to the summation of x minus mu quantity 4 divided by n times sigma 4 minus 3. There are three types of measures of cortices. When k is equal to 0, it is mesocortic. When it is greater than 0, it is leptocortic. And when it is lesser to 0, it is called platycortic. Box and whisker plot. Box and whisker plot is concerned with the symmetry of the distribution and incorporates measures of location in order to study the variability of the observations. It is also called as box plot or five number summary represented by minimum, maximum, quartile one, quartile two, and quartile 3. This is suitable for identifying outliers. Speaking about liars, it means a data that is far from other data. The diagram is made up of a box which lies between the first and the third quartiles. The whiskers are the straight lines extending from the ends of the box to the smallest and largest values that are not outliers. We have the steps. Step 1. Draw a rectangular box whose left edge is at the quartile 1 and whose right edge is at the quartile 3. So the box within is the enter quartile range. Then draw a vertical line segment inside the box where the median is found. Taken is the marks distances 1.5 and third quartile rings from either end of the box. So 1.5 IQR is equal to 15. Draw the horizontal line segments known as the whiskers from each of the end of the box to the largest and the smallest values in the data set that are not outliers. So an observation beyond plus minus 1.5 and third quartile rings is an outlier. Thanks for viewing. God bless.